Hello and welcome to Shep Rambles, where I am Shep, and I tend to ramble about what? Anything and everything. And we are going to ramble about those little electronic devices that happen to be sitting on restaurant tables that you sit there and you you can play little games on and you can order your food and you can pay your bill and uh, you can take surveys and uh, stuff that winds up getting your servers fired. Um, yeah, there's a video, another video that I did uh, about that, about these uh, dark secrets that these uh, little evil, sinister devices have. Um, so I'll have a link to that video at, uh, at the end of, uh, at, of this one. But what I wanted to go ahead and do um, when I was finalizing that video, I came across an article uh, in regards to the the tablets and why they're here to stay, which is why I've got uh, this article up on my screen. You can't see the whole title there because like cuts off there where it says after R. <laughs> Because when, when I scroll down the article, you're you know you're only gonna you'll you'll see the article, you just won't see the whole thing. And um, I wanted to make use of my space so that way you could see me. Uh, anyway, when I saw this article, uh, it's from last year. All right, um, so this is not a new article, but I wanted to be able to present both sides. All right. The I wanted to present the side of how these tabletop devices are a really bad thing. Um, but also wanted to present how they can be um, a good thing. Now, I kind of went over some of the good points about them in the other video. Um, they're just tools. It's how they're being used. But. Anyway, I wanted to go ahead and I haven't read this article, but I figured this would be a good article to just kind of go over. So it's kind of like a follow up to the other uh, tablet video that I did, but I kind of wanted to um, do a different uh, a take on the tablet story. So that way, that way we're coming at this topic the subject matter at two different angles so like I said this is from last year and I'm sure it's still relevant today so why are these tablets on restaurant tables here to stay well over the past few years uh, a new fixture has popped up on restaurant tables next to the ketchup bottles and salt shakers and there's these tablets iPads and their ilk are now a common sight on tabletop ta tabletops at numerous restaurants from fast casual burger chains to pillars of the casual dining sector like Olive Garden and Chili's. Putting tablets on tables is intended to speed up service by enabling diners to prefer... Every time I see diner, I think of the actual, like, 50s diner. <laughs> I have to... I have to... I have to uh, think in my head that a diner is someone who goes in to eat. That's a diner. I just think of it as a customer. <laughs> uh, but anyway, um, it enables diners to perform various tasks such as ordering food or paying their check without having to wait for their server to appear. In theory, they allow restaurants to turn tables more quickly and serve more guests. That's logical. That makes sense to me. That makes perfect sense. Now that such systems have been in place for a few years, Chains are finding that tablets are a valuable tool in their technology arsenal. Again, I would agree. Applebee's installed tablets at its restaurants in 2014, and they're now found on every table at all of its nearly 2,000 U.S. locations. More than 70% of Applebee's diners, because as we know, Applebee's has a bunch of those 50s diners all over the place, 
uh, they interact with these tablets and more than 50% of the those guests will use it for payment um, I've used those things for payment I I think they're very convenient you don't have to wait for the server to come by and bring a check it's like you know if 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 I want dessert I can punch it in there and get dessert or I'm like oh no we're done let's just go and just pay it and then, then we just leave when we're ready um, the server doesn't have to wait for us um, when we're ready to pay you know, you know he or she can go work on another table so so yeah there are benefits to this thing definitely um, what else here I'll skip that paragraph okay so in addition to self order and pay features the Presto brand of tablets used at Applebee's come loaded with games that guests can um, play during their meal. They cost about a buck ninety nine. Why would you want to play those games? I mean, most people would have a cell phone. Just <laughs> play on your cell phone. Uh, Jones says only fifteen or, or talk. You know the old fashioned way. You know talk with people. Have you ever gone to a restaurant lately? Look, go to a restaurant and look around and look and see if people are actually having a conversation and talking with each other or if they're sitting there with their phone <laughs> looking at pictures or, or playing Bejeweled or Candy Crush or whatever. What I, whatever games are, are popular these days. Look around. Uh, tell me what you see. I ain't going to say that my family's perfect. We'll go to a restaurant. We're all sitting there on our phones doing stuff. But sometimes we'll, we'll I mean, we'll kind of mess with stuff, but we'll talk at, at, at also. And sometimes I kind of like look at a few things and then I set my phone down and I'm just. <laughs> and then I start rambling because, hey, you know, um, it's not like there's any rambling going on on this video series, right? Okay, so it says don't expect tabletop tablets to start appearing at. Uh, Dine Equities, other brands, IHOP. Well, yeah, don't expect it at IHOP because they're not IHOP anymore. They're IHOP. Uh, which I'm going to do a video on that, too. <laughs> I've been wanting to make a video on that. Uh, Jones explained that tables are already too crowded with syrup bottles, coffee, or blah, 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 blah. Uh... CEO uh, of Outback Steakhouse franchisee, um, blah, blah. The tabletop tablets enable the restaurants to cut labor costs by 1% or 2% and run fewer servers per night who are each making more money. Well, that's nice for those servers. I mean, those fewer servers at night mean that they can make more money. That's that's good. Um if it means that some servers lost their job as a result of it, that's bad. Uh, anyway, there's been a fair amount of concern that tablets would put human servers out of jobs. Yes, I would agree. But thus far, Outback and other casual dining chains say they are using tablets as servers' assistance. Human servers still interact with the tables and lead service, but diners can use them for common requests like ordering drink refills and closing out their tab. Other restaurants such as TGI Fridays and Chuck E. Cheese. Chuck E. Cheese has them? I didn't know Chuck E. Cheese had them. It's been a while since I've been there. They take a different approach. Instead of tabletop tablets, servers are equipped with handheld tablets. Oh, okay. So they have handheld tablets that send orders to the kitchen in real time. Some worried that tabletop tablets would result in lower gratuities for servers since people would be less inclined to tip humans when computers are doing part of the work, but that doesn't appear to be the case. I would agree with that too. And the reason why I would say that is when you pay your bill, if I remember correctly, I think it calculates the recommended tip on there for you. And then you can use a slider to adjust whether you want to pay less or pay more, but at least it gives you a starting point. Whereas when you, the old fashioned way, when, when, the, when the server brings out the bill, it doesn't give you a starting point. So some people are like, oh, just write down a couple bucks or three bucks or, or whatever. So I thought that's where these little tablet things were nice 
because you don't have to sit there and try to, you know, pull out a calculator and try to figure everything out. The tablet figured it out for you. And then you could say, well, yeah, the server is great. I'm going to uh, pay them a little bit more than that. I thought they deserved it. Or, or no, nah, my server was kind of snotty. Um, or they didn't come refill my drink as much as they should have or paid much attention to me as much as they should have. Um, I'll still tip them, but maybe not as much, right? So I thought, I thought these tablets were good in that respect. Um, where did we live off? Uh, yeah, in fact, tips have stayed steady or even increased thanks to the ease of tipping via tablets. Diners can typically tap just one button to automatically apply a tip of the industry standard, 20%. Um, I don't believe that's the industry standard unless it's changed. From what I, from when I was waiting tables, I was taught it was like somewhere between 15 and 18%. 20% is when you give excellent service. 15 to 18 percent is like standard and then 20 is like excellent 10 is like uh below standard uh tips are likely also higher thanks to diners increased satisfaction with service uh, example of their ability to pay their check at will rather than having to wait around for the tab to be dropped restaurants are also seeing increased check averages when tablets are in use uh, Weagle noted that dessert sales are up at Outback because diners can now order it with the touch of a button, eliminating any potential sheepishness that may come along with asking a server for, say, a slice of chocolate cake after inhaling a blooming onion and a steak. Ziosk, which provides the tablets for Outback Chili's and a number of other chains, claims its clients have seen a 30% overall increase in dessert sales. Okay, so, so far... This is a positive, uh, a positive thing. Um, it's increasing sales. It's increasing tips. So that these are positives across the board. Restaurants are finding that tabletop tablets are also serving as valuable data as a valuable data gathering tool. This is where we start getting into some of that uh, dark secrets, dark, dark secret stuff. But it won't be in this article. At least I don't think so. Across the board, restaurants are finding that tabletop tablets are also, okay, presenting a post-meal survey for diners to fill out electronically as part of the payment process provides the restaurant with useful feedback on food and service, and in some cases, guests who want to provide more specific feedback, such as complaining about cold fries or praising a staff member, can send emails directly to management, which is a much smaller hurdle than actually flagging down a manager to speak face to face. Okay. So as a tool, yes, it is a good thing. I, th I, th if used correctly, I think it's a wonderful thing. Um, it is, it definitely helps make things more productive. Um, it, I definitely see how it can increase sales. I, I definitely see how it can be good for servers as far as increasing their tips. And as far as feedback to the restaurant, as far as, um, you know, things that they may need to fix or work on. Um, I think, I think the the data gathering is very useful. What I am not okay with is when you use that data gathering against the server, that's what I have a problem with. When you have a survey and if you don't mark excellent on every single thing that it asks you and you start dinging the server for things that are out of their control and then you start cutting their hours or you start writing them up, and putting all this stress on them, cutting down the amount of money they can make on their checks, changing their, changing their shifts around, giving them crappy hours, or playing let, just letting them go. All right, I'm not okay with that. That's crap. All right, that's taking this tool and using it 
uh, with an evil intent is what it is. Because as a sinister evil corporation, you don't want to, the only thing, you don't want to take care of the people who are working for you. The only thing you care about is this. Okay, I get it. It's a business. And yeah, the almighty dollar is important. But you know what? If it wasn't for your employees, you wouldn't have that almighty dollar. All right? You take care of your employees. Your employees are going to take care of your customers. And you're going to have a lot of this. All right? It's that easy. It's that simple. It doesn't have to be difficult. Don't treat your employees like crap. All right? Would you want to be treated like that way? No, I don't think you would. But it's so easy for you corporate uh, people to sit there in your nice little offices and your suit and ties or whatever and come up with these things that are affecting people's lives. Oh, I don't want <laughs> I could go on, but... Anyway, um, so, yeah, um, I do think these things are good. Are they going to go away? No, no, they're not going to go away. There's, there's definitely, when it comes to a, a business perspective, they're seeing an increase in sales. So as far as they're concerned, these things are successful. But with the fact that they're using it to try to cut down on labor costs and try to find excuses for cutting hours or whatnot, um, these things are about as, uh, they're being used as badly as those computer survey things where there's like 100 questions when you're trying to apply for a job and they, they base your personality based on those 100 questions or whatever. So, I mean, after 100 questions, the, uh, a stupid computer survey is going to determine if you're an evil person or not. Oh, well, the computer says that uh, you can't be trusted. So, well, we can't hire you. What happened to just old fashioned, uh, let's sit down and have a conversation and let me get to know you type of thing? You know, that's the best kind of interview because you know what? those stupid computer survey things don't tell you anything about a person. And how many examples can you think of, of people who have been hired and wound up quitting like a week or two later, whereas someone who maybe didn't pass that test would have been a very valuable employee. Okay. Those things are stupid. <laughs> maybe I should make a video on it. I should, I should make a video on it. Anyway, um, I wanted to do another video about this just because this, this subject about waiting tables is just a, a just a passionate, uh, thing for me because I've done it. Um, I know what it's like. Um, it's, it can be very stressful. Um, especially when you're trying to bring in a, a certain amount of money and 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 you're relying on those tips it's it's not easy it, it is not easy it is it is a very um stressful type of job um so so yeah um i definitely wanted to to take a look at this too and just look at both sides of the story so there there is there it's a good tool but it needs to be used for the right reasons so these tablets are not going to go away, but with that in mind, if take your server is going to take care of you, you take care of your server. All right, they're a person just like you are. They got bills, they got to pay, and stuff like that. Um, if they're having a bad day, then you can express your satisfaction or dissatisfaction through how much you tip all right just like it has always been but when it comes to that survey just 
put five stars on everything, okay? No one needs to lose their job. No one needs to have their hours cut. I mean, they're trying to make they're trying to make buy, you know. They're trying to they're trying to make money to pay their bills, just just like you and me, and you know it. it they're they've got you know their own stress and and stuff that they've got to deal with, and you know let's not make it any harder for them. I mean, we all got stress we got to deal with, so. Let's let's be good to each other. Okay? Just mark five stars on all that stuff. Don't don't let these corporations get away from uh using these things against employees. Um I I think it's great that it's bringing in more sales and stuff, but I think it should be left at that. Just yeah. That's really all I got to say about it. Um, uh, I hope you found this uh, video uh, interesting and good. Um, and uh, I've got plenty others. And I'll post a, post a link up here to the other video about the tablets. So um, check that out if you haven't already checked it out. And I got plenty other videos as well. So thanks for uh, watching. And I will see you on the next rambling video. Take care.